Hi guys, it's couponing Stacy here and today I am doing a super exciting collab with Nicole Burgess. Nicole Burgess is like a Dollar Tree queen. She does a bunch of amazing videos. She does couponing videos, she does stitch fix slash thread up videos, and she does a lot of Dollar Tree hauls also. I enjoy the Dollar Tree, I just don't do a lot of hauls with them. I'm not there like that regularly. But I thought it would be fun to collab with her. So I am telling you guys the 10 worst things to buy at Dollar Tree, stuff you should never be buying there. And she is going to tell you the 10 best things to buy at Dollar Tree, what you should always be buying there. So after you watch my video, be sure to go check out hers. And if you are coming from Nicole's channel, hi, I hope you will subscribe because I do some similar videos in terms of couponing to her. Okay, so let's jump on into these things. I am going to be inserting photos that I took in the store and I will be telling you why you should not buy these 10 things at Dollar Tree. All right, number one is soda. So the reason behind this is that you can a, get soda a lot cheaper at other stores. Usually they run promotions. I know for me, things like Food for Less will have like 79 cent sales on um, my like Jewel Osco will have like 89 cent sales even CVS sometimes with a coupon you can get them for 74 cents so a dollar actually isn't that amazing of a deal now sometimes at Dollar Tree you can get a three liter instead of a two liter but also in my experience I have done soda at Dollar Tree before and I would get their knockoff coke and what I found is that it isn't all regular sugar that their regular will mix aspartame and regular sugar. So I am someone who is kind of sensitive to fake sugar, so I didn't like that either. And I feel like they're not super upfront about that, but you can, if you read their ingredients, see that they do do that, at least they used to, because they haven't tried soda in a while. So I definitely say don't get your soda there. Number two is batteries. Dollar Tree has a ton of batteries on an end cap at the front of the store, but just do not buy them there. Reason being that they die really quickly, they're just not very good. You're not going to get the longevity that you'll get out of like an Energizer or the Duracell. And you should just be looking for sales at other stores. I know recently Office Depot had like their big pack of batteries for $9.99. You got like $9.98 back in rebates, so they were just a penny. So look for deals like that where you're gonna get higher end batteries. They will last you much, much longer. You're just gonna be burning through Dollar Tree batteries constantly if you try to use those. Number three is shredded cheese or really any kind of cheese at Dollar Tree. It just is not real cheese. There's not really any dairy in it. It's all fake and kind of plasticky and I won't melt very well. So just like stay away from Dollar Tree cheese. That's something that I also find at least in my area, sometimes I can get bags of shredded cheese on sale for 99 cents. They're not always craft, sometimes it's store brand, but that's a much better bet than getting the cheese at the Dollar Tree. Number four, it's appropriate for this time of year, it is school supplies. If it is like the dead of winter and no one else has good sales, then maybe it's an option. But at this time of year, all of the other stores have much, much better deals and it's on name brand products. So at this time of year, you can get Elmer's glue for about 50 cents or less. Pens and pencils are always on sale and we get coupons to make them free. Folders, we get penny items at Office Depot. There's like quarter sales at basically all the stores. Target, Walmart, Staples, and Office Depot are a much better place to get your school supplies than Dollar Tree. They're gonna have better deals at those stores even though they're higher end stores. Number five is windshield wiper fluid. Now there might be one exception to my rule for do not buy windshield wiper fluid at Dollar Tree and that is if you are in like Key West, Florida. If you're in somewhere where it really never ever gets cold then that's fine but if you look at the bottle of windshield wiper fluid at Dollar Tree it says it's only suitable for temperatures of 32 and above. Now I live in Chicago and 32 degrees in winter is an amazing day. We'll get things that are, you know, 13, negative 10. So that windshield labor fluid is not gonna hold up to those temperatures. What will happen is if you go to use it and it's below 32 degrees, it's going to freeze on your windshield. 
and you do not want that happening. So definitely get something better, go to Target, get a better one, and be looking out for ones that have a better temperature range so that they do not freeze onto your windshield when you try to use them in the winter. Number six is tools. They just do not have very high quality tools. They're a lot more likely to break. They're not something that's like a good investment for long-term things. If you buy tools at like Home Depot, they're gonna last you a lot longer. It's kind of a staple that you can almost keep forever. So definitely that's an item that you're gonna wanna splurge on and just get something nicer that'll last you a super long time. Number seven is vitamins. Their vitamins have just been found to not be as nutrient rich as they may claim to be. If you get ones at like CVS or Target, those are actually a lot better for you. And the vitamins at Dollar Tree aren't always like government approved vitamins, not FDA recommended. So that's, you know, things that involve your health, you don't really want to mess with that. So do not get vitamins at the Dollar Tree. Number eight is oven mitts. Now oven mitts sound like something that seems smart to purchase at Dollar Tree, but they're actually not super heat resistant. And you know, when you're trying to do things like protect your hand from getting a burn, definitely don't want that happening. So I've definitely used Dollar Tree oven mitts in the past, like they can work. They're just not something I would recommend because they're not super, super heat resistant. So definitely, again, that's something I think you should splurge and get something nicer because you definitely want to not burn your hand. Number nine is kitchen knives. Now, honestly, I'm surprised that Dollar Tree sells kitchen knives, but kitchen knives are dull, flimsy, just not at all good. Um, even you can get pretty cheap knife sets at like Target for, you know, not very much and they're going to be a lot better. Um, if I was really going to recommend it, this is when my husband and I started doing, we started getting like really nicer knives from like Sur La Tabla. Like the quality in expensive knives is just astronomical, but at a minimum, go the middle ground and get like a Target knife set. Don't get Dollar Tree ones. They are just really, really bad. And number 10 is last but not least, and that is power cords and basically any kind of electronics. These have been proven to not have the highest like safety quality. They are a lot more likely to start an electrical fire, which obviously I don't think anyone's trying to burn their house down when they buy something from the Dollar Tree. So it's not something I would want to mess around with. For me, I actually couldn't find this in my Dollar Tree. So this might be in like select stores, but definitely not something you want to do. If you're looking for a power strip and you can wait it out, I would say, do an after Christmas sale. They'll have a lot of extension cords and power strips and things like that that were in their holiday section that you can get for like 30, 50, maybe even more percent off. And they're gonna be nicer power strips. So if you can wait it out, you need it, do it then. That's the time to get them and get ones that are much better for you to be using. So those are all 10 of my items that I do not recommend buying at the Dollar Tree. Again, be sure to go check out Nicole's channel. It's linked in the description of this video. Go see what she is recommending that you guys should always be buying at the Dollar Tree. She is a regular Dollar Tree shopper, so I'm sure she has some amazing suggestions. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you wanna see more Dollar Tree related videos on my channel. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please click the red link down below and subscribe so you never miss another one of my videos. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you later. Bye.